EU F-Gas regulation has been directly applicable in all EU member states from January 2015. It represents a revolution for the refrigeration, heating and cooling industry and will change forever how we operate. The new rules introduce a completely new mechanism to ensure emission reductions. This mechanism is called the phase-down, which will gradually reduce the consumption of HFCs. The phase-down is a step-by-step -step approach where the quantities of HFCs, expressed in CO2 equivalent, that are placed on the market are gradually reduced through the allocation of quotas. These quotas will be set by the European Commission and will be allocated to each producer and importer of bulk HFCs. Quotas are expressed in CO2 equivalent. This means that the higher the global warming potential, or GWP, of a refrigerant, the higher the amount of CO2 equivalent for a given number of kilograms and the higher the quota required. For example, 10 kilograms of the refrigerant R134A, which has a global warming potential of 1430, will correspond to a quantity of 10 kilograms times GWP 1430 equals 14,300 kilograms of CO2 equivalent. The quotas are calculated annually and the European Commission has set aside a special reserve for newcomers to ensure that they can also enter the HFC market. The European Commission will decide how many quotas each company receives based on the amount of hydrofluorocarbons they have placed on the market in recent years. Quotas which are not used by producers or importers cannot be stored but will instead be lost at the next allocation round. Companies involved with bulk HFCs can apply for a quota free of charge regardless of whether they are based inside or outside the EU. As a result of the phase-down, HFC consumption will be reduced by 79% by 2030. Industry and users will therefore need to make the transition to refrigerants with a lower global warming potential. As a result of the phase-down, there will gradually be fewer HFCs available. Those that are available are likely to be flammable, toxic or operating at high pressure. This will require the workforce to develop specific skills and adapt to the relevant industry standards and building codes. Industry as a whole will need to adapt and start using lower GWP refrigerants from today. If you have any questions, please contact the EPE Secretariat. EPE. Heating and cooling is your life and our mission. Follow us at EPE Secretariat.